Hey guys, it's Amy with the A-Team here at eXp and if you are watching this video, you're probably interested in moving to Norfolk, Virginia. So today, I'm going to take you through a little bit of a map tour so you can learn a little bit more about Norfolk. So if you are interested in having first-hand information about what's happening in the market, the housing market specifically, or even things to do um, here in the area, make sure that you tap the bell and subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything. All right. So let's get started with just some general um, information about the location of Norfolk, Virginia. So I like to call Norfolk the heart of Hampton Roads. Um, so Hampton Roads is comprised of about seven cities. Um, I think it expands a little bit beyond that, but um, that's the gist of it. It sits across the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel from Hampton and it's connected to Virginia Beach and also Chesapeake. So this area, living in it, gives you the opportunity to get to many of these other places in a very short time period. Uh, generally speaking, less than an hour, probably more 20 to 30 minutes. So um, let's talk a little bit more about Norfolk and what it's comprised of. So it's one of the very diverse areas that you can live in, um, which I think is fantastic, um, especially if you are coming to the area and you've never lived here before. Um, it's just very nice. Like People are generally um, kind and accepting, and, and so that's pretty nice for a place to live. Um, next up, I wanted to talk about um, some, some other things. Um, like what's in the area. Um, so we have um, tons of restaurants, uh, bars, shopping, um, where Norfolk is actually, where the Norfolk International Airport is located. Um, let's see, other important things that you might wanna know. Uh, we do have a full-on outlet mall where you can go and find some good deals and some specific stores that you may not find other places. Um, there are a couple different areas you should certainly check out. Um, if you make your way down to downtown Norfolk or Waterside, um, Ghent area, those are all kind of clustered together or right around one another. Um, neat things to do there, Waterside, it has restaurants and, and bars inside of there. It also has a really cute little fudge shop that you can go and watch them make the fudge in front of you, um, which I think is just fantastic uh, for anyone to do. And uh, next up, it's right there on the water. So you can go over to the Nauticus Museum where the USS Wisconsin is, um, and you can, you, you can view that museum and actually walk on the ship, um, which is pretty cool. So Norfolk is actually lined by seven miles of beach. Um, some of it's private, some of it's public, uh, but at the end of the day, you can go and spend as much time as you want to on the beach. Um, there on the beach in, in Ocean View, it is kind of at the mouth of Chesapeake Bay. So it's not like you're going to go there and go surfing. <laughs> you're just going to be sitting back, relaxing, um, enjoying the waves, the calm waves. Um, so you've got beaches to go to. You've got some downtown areas to go and do things. There's other museums like the Chrysler Museum. Um, there's a small art community that you could be involved with, and we have a median home value of about $215,000. Um, now, that's a home value. That doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly what the market is doing right now, but if you have questions about that, let us know. A little over half of the Norfolk community are renters. Um, Norfolk is also the home to the largest naval base. Um, and it is also the headquarters for the North American NATO. Um, so if you come here, we are well equipped with our fair share of military um, infrastructure. So um, there's always gonna be an abundance of people coming in and out of the area, which is kind of great for the real estate market as a whole. It's good if you're looking to move here and purchase for a little while and then you leave out of the area and you want to rent your property out. Um, it's a great opportunity for, for you um, to come here and have ownership. Um, next, you should know that it says the, and by it, I mean niche.com says that the median rent amount is $1,077 per month. Um, I would venture to say it might be a little bit more than that in my experience. 
um, but that is what it is. You can always go to niche.com and find out some different things about the area as far as, you know, like what the school ratings are and things to do and what other people think about, you know, that have lived in the area before. Um, I found it pretty helpful. Like, I don't personally live in Norfolk, but I worked in Norfolk for years and years um, for the military. And um, it's quite a fantastic place to go. I still like to go over there and enjoy things like um, the Hilton Hotel in downtown Norfolk actually has a rooftop restaurant called Green, and they've got another restaurant in there called The Sultine. Both of them are amazing. It's a fantastic view. Um, they do brunches on the weekends, and it's it's really just a, like I said, it's just a fantastic place to go and enjoy. Um, and let's see if there's anything else that you could think of that you might want to know about the area. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know, and I'll be happy to answer that for you. Um, but again, if you're thinking about moving to the area, whether it's in nine or 90 days, hey, go ahead and reach out to us. We're here to help you. People call, text, and email us every single day um, trying to find their new home in the Norfolk, Virginia area. Or if you're looking at one of the surrounding areas, um, please reach out. We do service all of these areas. Like I said, it's all kind of one small place that makes up Hampton Roads, but it's multiple cities. So thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe below so you can find out what's next and uh, take care.